clean in the entire... Especially, I, you know, this is something I like to do. I'm totally fucking OCD and crazy. But uh, I like being able to see the red brake chambers in the rear end and all that. The spring hangers. This is the best way I found to get it really, really clean. Uh, and then I steam it off. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to explain to you the tools and chemicals I used in this video and uh, what I was doing here. So basically, this was for prep uh, for Angelo's truck. This is his uh, one of the show trucks he has. They do work in Flushing, Queens. This was prepping for the 2018 Diesel Nationals where he won best in show for Chrome and he also won first place oil tanker. And it was bittersweet because it was the last English Town Diesel Nationals. Um, so that, that show had a lot of history if you're from the tri-state area, especially New York, New Jersey. But basically, getting back to the cleaning, I'm using a Vapor Chief 125 steamer that has hot water injection. So it takes water from the boiler and it'll inject it downstream into the hose so you get a burning hot water in addition to the steam. You know, you press a little button and it injects the water in and you get a, a nice stream of water to rinse away dirt and grime. And the reason I do this after I already pressure washed this whole truck, got it as clean as I could. I have to be careful on the on the suspension and, and the chassis areas. All these, the brake chambers, if you guys have trucks, you know the paint, you can even see it right there on the left part of that brake chamber, the paint flakes off on the bottom. So if you're using a pressure washer, you're going to blow the paint right off the truck. This is a delicate process. I could take my time, and, and I'm not doing this for every truck. This is strictly for show truck prep. Uh, and it pays off because when you look at the underneath when it's done it, it looks as clean as the exterior of the truck It's unbelievable So I'm using a, uh, a boar's hair brush. I got on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. It's just a cheapo one um, And I'm using Galiptone ultra cleaner. It's an all-purpose cleaner uh, You could use it as a degrees or all-purpose cleaner depending on a dilution you cut it with I used um, one part cleaner three parts water I had a old simple green squirt bottle. I actually ran out of squirt bottles and I had this one in my van. And it just so happens it had a foaming tip on it, which worked great because it allowed the uh, ultra cleaner to cling onto the surface longer. And then I would just agitate it with the brush and it really did a great job. Right now I'm using the steamer. And you can see here, let me see. This is dry steam. This is dry steam right now. And you'll see when I press the button, and there's the hot water injection. So I would highly recommend uh, the Vapor Chief. I had this for about three years now. The uh, the owner of the company, Kevin, he's based out of New Jersey, is a, a gentleman. Anytime I had an issue, he would help me. I'd call him on the phone. He'd work me through it, send me another part. He, uh, he stands by his equipment, and he's a stand-up guy. All right, that's it for now. It came out crazy. Okay, you get the rear end. Uh, that's 
back to the right. So right here, I'm, I'm steam cleaning the uh, the front of the truck, the, the steering components, front brake chambers, pitman arm, the drag link, all, all that stuff. Having a good time. All right, so right here you see this is after the steam cleaning. Uh, the next step um, after this part was to spray wax the uh, the rear end, the brake chambers, any visible suspension and chassis opponents, the leaf springs. You can see how immaculate that is. When you look under the truck, I, I believe when it comes to show judging, it's basically they stick their head under and as far as they can see is what they judge you on. So I go a little bit beyond that and I get pretty much every spot underneath the truck. It's as clean as the exterior of the truck that you could touch with your hand. You know, that that, that was my goal with this and uh, it paid off every year I did this. It looked unbelievable. Now I'm walking around. This was actually from the previous year. This is from 2017, but I just wanted to add this clip on since it was the same thing. There I am, black. I was polishing the inside of the rear wheels. I'd sand it and polish those wheels this year. Uh, there you see the inners are polished. The whole frame is immaculate. The underneath of the fenders is immaculate. You got to get every little spot. We took the box off, the uh, the toolbox door off. These were brand new tanks Angelo bought. And uh, I had them when they were off the truck. I sanded and polished the back area and the top that goes underneath the cab. And then you can see it's still sanded. Those were the uh, the, the orbital sanding marks. Getting ready to polish is Gino doing the chassis. It's Tony Bologna's brother. And uh, you could see just what it looks like. That's a show truck prep. It really it blew my mind how clean it was. Looking at the, how clean the inside of the fender is again. Just walking around. Every time I watch these videos, it's, uh, it brings back so many good memories. I'm happy I didn't delete these out of my phone. I'm just going to keep uploading uh, the history that I have in this phone. So this is basically the end of the video. These are just some picture stills I have. This was inside Angelo's shop with the wheels off. This was at Diesel Nationals, looking at how clean everything was in front of the rear axle. This is me uh, doing final touch-ups at Diesel Nationals. We had to drive it down there. Uh, this is the best in, best in show trophy. It was probably the greatest accomplishment I had with truck detailing to get that. And... Uh, Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks, guys.